and five. Always a good effort. Yeah, everybody getting into the holiday spirit tonight, or at least trying. Trying. As we mentioned earlier, the Knob Hill Shop and Stroll. This is a live look, Dean. Yeah. It looks pretty soggy. Well, and they've had a problem with weather. Uh, I can't remember now if it was last year or the year before. It was windy, windy, and cold, and, and virtually nobody. Yeah. I mean, well, there were a few people out for the parade, and then they, you know, they abandoned it. So Tough go. Yeah. And it looks like a tough go tonight. Everybody has the umbrella, so you're going to need that rain gear. And, you know, other places are getting some snow, like Sandia Crest. This is a look at Sandia Crest from earlier this afternoon between 4.30 and 5 o'clock. This is thanks to Kerry Jones. He says they picked up about an inch, inch and a half. So we are seeing some snow, but you really have to get up there in the mountains, in the East Mountains. Same deal in the Northern Mountains. This is a live look at the radar here in Albuquerque. We already continue with some pockets of light to moderate rain, basically on the north side of the metro and then farther to the north along Interstate 25 and dealing with some rain and snow showers likely on the East Mountains. So not all of it being picked up by the radar, but we'll continue with that chance for some rain here over the next couple of hours. Hours, then some pockets of moderate rain in northeastern New Mexico along Interstate 40 between Santa Rosa and Tucumcari. So if you are heading out tonight, run into some rain and some areas of dense fog. Give yourself some extra time and use those low beam headlights. And you can see the snow and the higher elevations of the northern mountains. But we're talking about above 9,500 feet and only about two to five inches of snow because this storm is a pretty warm storm system. Because take a look at the temperatures right now. Over the past six hours, we've been stuck in the middle to upper 40s here in Albuquerque. Earlier in Taos, you're in the middle 40s, now dipping back into the middle 30s and in the 50s in the eastern half of the state. So we're not seeing much in the way of snow around the northern mountains, but that chance above 9,500 feet will be there for the next few hours. Here's a look at some of the rainfall totals near Gallup, picking up more than an inch of rain around the Big Eye, a half inch of rain, 0.36 inches officially at the Sunport. This is the most rain that we've picked up in about a month. It was early November when we picked up about a quarter of inch of rain here in Albuquerque. Here's a look at Superstorm Track beginning at 8 o'clock. Again, if you're headed out to Knob Hill tonight, keep the rain gear nearby, but eventually we'll see the rain coming to an end, dealing with some areas of patchy dense fog tonight and also first thing as you're heading out the door for work or school on your Friday. So again, give yourself some extra time tomorrow morning. By the afternoon, we'll see a lot of sunshine. It's going to be a nice looking day. Also feeling pretty nice with temperatures on the mild side and even above average. Then on Saturday, things begin to change once again. We'll watch another storm system move in. That could trigger some more snow in the San Juans of southern Colorado and also some spotty showers in central and western New Mexico. Here's a look at that forecast for the snowfall tonight. Again, not a lot of snow. Two to five inches possible above 95 500 feet and the Sangre de Cristo Mountains in the San Juans of northern New Mexico. In southern Colorado for tonight, temperatures falling back into the 20s, dealing with some areas of fog and then some afternoon sunshine for your Friday. Over to the Four Corners, temperatures into the 50s, staying in the 50s for Saturday and Sunday, with another round of showers possible on Saturday. Then over to the southwest, those showers coming to an end will clear our skies out tomorrow. Temperatures not bad at all. How about the 50s and the 60s? So get outside and enjoy that tomorrow. Then over to the southeast, more sunshine, temperatures into the upper 60s in Roswell, 62 in Lovington, 63 in Hobbs. Then over to the northeast after some morning fog, we'll see that sunshine. Temperatures into the 50s and the 60s. And then over to the northern mountains, we'll have those showers out there right now. They'll continue during the overnight hours. Then we'll clear our skies out for tomorrow afternoon. And then over to the east mountains after some morning fog, we'll see that sunshine. Temperatures into the 40s and the 50s. And then in the metro, same deal. That rain eventually wrapping up around 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock tonight. And then high temperatures in the 50s, not only for tomorrow, but pretty much the entire week ahead over the next seven days, temperatures staying well above average. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah. Snow back yeah, hoping for more snow. We're going to have to keep on hoping. All right, Chris, thank you. Sports is next. Stay with us.